On June 19th, the legislature met in a special session called by Governor Quinn to work on reforming the state's pension systems. Illinois' pension systems are the most underfunded in the nation. The state's five pension systems have an estimated unfunded liability of $110 billion. Finding a legislative solution to the funding crisis has not happened due to the House and Senate backing different approaches to fixing the problem. To overcome this legislative gridlock, when the legislature met on June 19th, they decided to form a conference committee. This is a committee made up of both House and Senate members. There will be a total of 10 members of the Pension Reform Conference Committee, with both the House and Senate having five members each. The job of the conference committee will be to work on a pension solution that can pass both the House and the Senate. Representing the Senate Democrats will be Senator Kwame Raoul, Senator Daniel Biss, and Senator Linda Holmes. Representing the Senate Republicans on the committee are Senator Matt Murphy and Senator Bill Brady. Representing House Democrats, Speaker Michael Madigan appointed Representative Elaine Nekritz, Representative Art Turner, and Representative Mike Zalewski. And House Republican leader Tom Cross selected Representative Darlene Sanger and Representative Jill Tracy. Governor Quinn wants the conference committee to come up with a joint solution that will pass both the House and Senate and have that ready for a vote in the legislature by July 9th. But many believe that deadline is too soon to be met, as it will take nearly three weeks for an agreed solution to be drafted and reviewed by the appropriate legislative agencies. The Illinois Channel's coverage of legislative issues is underwritten in part by AARP Illinois.